guys. So today Richard and I are going to try and tackle cleaning this 1949 Chevy. This Chevy was used as a haunted house decoration and it is a mess. Yes, and also besides being a Halloween decoration, I think it might have been used for storage. There is all kinds of stuff in here from car parts that don't belong to this car to car parts that do belong to this car to remnants of the Halloween display to outright junk. I mean, we just don't know. We haven't dug into it. Yeah, and we don't have a key to get the trunk open, but it is full. Yeah. So Richard is going <laughs> to climb back there. I'm going to climb through the back seat area into the trunk to try to open this thing. Stay tuned for that. That ought to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we can use that. Yeah. What's that wheel rim? I'm trying to get some stuff out. I don't think that's for this car. No. So we've got a valve cover for the engine that's in this thing, a 216, but it's not for this engine. But it's that same paint with the crazy painting over dirt and grease paint job. I don't know what this is. I really don't know what that is. It looks like a carrier of some sort. If I had to guess what that is, it goes on the side of a, a bucket to hold tools and stuff as guys work on utility poles and such. That's what I would guess. There's the flywheel cover. That's nice. It doesn't have it on it. Oh, this would have been oh, seat. Yeah, look at the glow's fluorescent paint. That must be from the Halloween display. Uh, yeah, that's the side of the seat. Uh, here we go. And the door panel. Look at this. Oh, wow. I'm getting to some of the decorations. R.I.P dead dude. <laughs> that was probably in the window, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> no, not. This thing must have had the window down for a long time. Oh, wow. Piece of the floor. Okay, so I need to get this out. Yeah, that's the bumper for this car. Yeah. Oh, look. Hmm. They must have been using that. Yeah. No oh. idea what that's supposed to say. Hey, that's a lampshade right there. Yeah, or it used that's to be a lampshade. <laughs> you see? Whoa. Yeah, that's around. So This is more signage for the. Uh, I think it was. But. I don't know that you can. I mean, it's the same spray paint. Yeah, yeah. I don't see any words on that. Huh. I know. I didn't know what that was. Isn't that funny? Okay, I guess we're going to have to move back here now. We've been looking for these, right? Yeah, yeah those are useful. We certainly need them. Yeah. I noticed this last the first time we worked on it, but it doesn't seem to belong to this car. No. Was it cracked before? I don't know. There's another piece in here as well. But I don't I don't know what point it's going to be. Oh, they're both cracked. Mm-hmm. That's chicken wire. Okay. There's nothing in it. Yeah, there's I mean, a lot of junk in here. I just thought I'd say. 
This thing still has remnants of carpet in it. Yeah, yeah. And it's different. Black carpet. See, like, this is not the same carpet. Yeah, that's the underlayment, I think. Oh, oh is I that think, what that is? Yeah. Because there's something yeah. here, too. Yeah, that's sound deadener. Oh. I don't think this is... This carpet does not look like something from 1949. Oh, no, it's not factory. No. Definitely not. Uh -uh. Definitely not. If you see, oh, there's a, seat, a tape. Who is that from? Oh, you're not going to believe it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Is it, who is it? <laughs> Horrible sound. Oh, of Halloween. Horrible sounds of Halloween. Keep oh, that. Oh, my gosh. Keep that. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. Gosh, I feel like there's so much trash in here. That's why I feel like. Ooh, what? a skeleton. A skeleton. Oh, yeah. Look at, ow, look at that. There's a bad light coming in through that angle. Yeah. I, can't, I can't do it this way. Yeah. Or, you know, <laughs> 50 oh, inch. Yeah, but how much was it? 55 60, cents. I thought it said 60. Oh, 55? 55 cents. Wow. Wow, that's a long time ago. That is a long time ago. Okay, so. Hold on, hold on. I got it. It's not making it all. Thing is like a bottomless pit. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, yeah, let's check that out. Oh, cool. Is that from Tennessee? It's a report card. Is it a real one? Yes. <laughs> this is a report card for somebody. Is there a year on it? Pupil. Hunter, what's that last name? Dales? Wales? W A L E S? Maybe. Hunter Wales. Hillsborough School. <gasps> oh, 1986. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he oh did this well. kid was smart. Yeah, 86. 93, 94, 95, 94. Look, he only missed that one. Days day. tardy, one. And absent. Days absent, one. Oh. oh, this was a good kid. Habits, attitude. Habits and attitude we can't read. Oh, parent signature, too bad. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I've got to try to find this dude. Oh, my goodness. Does it say? No. Drafting? In industrial arts and vocational Yeah, it's a tech school, education. and this is drafting, too. Oh, Metropolitan Schools of Nashville, Davidson yep. County. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. how fun. Homeroom, Gleason Homeroom. We gotta find this guy. Oh my god. Something. I think his last name was Hunter. The last name is Hunter? Hard to say. Wales, and Hunter, and Wales. So, what are we gonna do? We find him and say, We have your report card. Yeah. We thought you might want it back. <laughs> yes. What did you just pull out of there? I have no idea. Oh, Probably wow. Look, look at that. that. This. I wanna say that's Ford Truck. Yeah, I want to see that Ford truck. What in the world is that doing in there? Oh, it is. It is. This is like 65, 66. Wow, that's cool. Right there, faculty, parking, well, Belmont College. Yeah, it's um, it was Belmont College because they changed that to college at a certain time. Yeah, 1990. Well, they changed it in 1990. These are 86. That's a different school, right? This is a different school. That UT is a different school. Oh, so that, like this could have been the parents' car? Could be, and then passed on to the kid. But it's faculty parking, so that was a teacher. Or well, maybe it's a report card for a kid and he never got it. <laughs> uh, oh, so this 
R.I.P. Sting. Well, you're getting down at least to the floorboards, but man, this is still a disaster in here. Some kind of bolt? No. Yeah. Is it a seat? Might, might be a seat, belt, seat bolt. What's that? Oh my car, but. I don't think there's anything else that could bait on This looks like. Oh, this is a Jags catalog. I wonder what year this is. I have no idea. But from the looks of the illustrations, this is old. Over 520 products. Wow. Yeah, this is old. <laughs> what size? Uh, I think it's too small for you. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, wow. The leather is so hard on this. It's like plastic. What is that? That's a glove. Is oh. That, is that oh. an animal? It looks like it might be an animal is body. Is a bone? Yes. Oh, it is. Oh, no. What is it? That is big, whatever it is. Was it like a cat or something? <gasps> no, that's not a cat. Look at the teeth. Yeah, that's something with a sharp, sharp teeth. Oh, the rest of the bones are in here. Holy cow. I would, maybe wow. that's just a Halloween decoration, but I don't think it is. I think that's a real animal if that was back there and died. Yeah, I don't think that would be a very elaborate Halloween decoration. <laughs> It's possible. Oh. Oh, no. Well, let's get it out of here anyway. Look, it was back here in this. Here's the rest of it. It was in a bag? It, well, it was back. You can see more of the bones right here. The, that's the back. Oh, yeah, there's, it's back. It, honey, it was like right there. Huh. Yeah, look, here's the rest of the bones. I'm not kidding. Like, seriously. Can you see? A license plate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you want do you want to switch spots? Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's get these air filter housings out of here. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of stuff in this car. Yeah. Cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. Definitely cigarettes. So we need to look up when Harley Davidson made cigarettes. Yeah, I bet it's the eighties. Okay. So this is neat. We've, we've traded. It's Richard's turn to have fun. That's a battery hold down for a six volt battery. This we're keeping. Yeah, but we don't think this is six volt anymore. Huh? But you don't think it's a six volt anymore, right? Well, I don't know the answer to that yet. You oh, know what we need? Look at the license plate. 2000. 2000. Yeah. Yeah, this is not, though. Mm -mm. This, this car has not been used that no. recently. You know what we need? We need to get the flashlight. I got one. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's so much better. Now that shoe might fit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you want it. I won't be wearing those. Oh, my gosh. It's so funny. Some neat hubcaps in here. Yeah. And it's with stuff I don't recognize. I have a small hubcap with that emblem on it. I don't know what it. that is. You know, if you could get the back of this open again, it would make it so much easier. That's Oldsmobile. Yeah. This is junk. Oh, that there's one another can be one right away. there. It's Cadillac. But it's shot. And this one. I don't know what that is. No idea. All right. Can I get back there now to open this up? Oh, you're going to try now? You don't want to take some more of that stuff out? We can. Yeah, we can. I think just to be safe. What if there's a whole big piece of glass in there or, yeah. you know, just safety reasons I would take some more out. Floor mats. Ooh, that one's still good. No, it's not. Trim. What if it goes to that? Ooh, probably goes here. Limited warranty. JVC. Must be a stereo back in the day. I see more of those rings back there. 
that go in front of the headlights? You do? Over, I think I see, do you see it over there by the headlight? Yeah, yep. Yep, I do. Yeah, I think that's for this car. Yet another one. Here's a bag of screws. Oh, what are these? What are these? Oh, it's a license plate for me. Schultz. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That's neat. We have to look that place up. Oh, totally. Tulare Schultz. Must have been Chevrolet. Oh, there's another one in here. Yeah. Is it just the... Oh. Same deal. Oh, it's the same one. Not as nice, but same deal. Huh. And an ear. Oh, gosh. I thought you meant, like, to the animal. <laughs> oh, plastic oh, That's ear. not very nice. Okay. All right. So you found an ode. Yeah. What is it? Employees credit union sheet. Uh, Credit union slip from October of 93. Oh, yeah. Is it at the top right here? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, 1993? Yeah, there's no way this car was being used in 93. I would be shocked. But somehow this well, thing found its way into let it. Let me just say, it could have been used as storage in 1993 because yeah. it was obviously used as storage. I mean, I'd love to think this was used up until 93. That would be pretty cool. We're getting quite the collection of junk out here. So I think we might need to stop for a moment, get a trash bag, get some of that out of the way, and proceed to go back there and see what's in the back. Okay, look what I found outside that was in the carpet that almost got thrown away. It looks like someone's prom picture. And you know, it was when you had to order, like, I want so many wallet size, two 8x10s, three 5x7s. Five, five, and this is your proof you could look at it and decide do I like that picture or do I never want any copies of that picture? You know, only people our age and older will know what we're talking about. But, do you know this person? Let me get a closer view for you. <laughs> I wonder if it's the kid with the boy ties. Does he have a name on it? No, uh, there is no name on it. It just says um, May 29th, 1986, and it's just as Freeman photographers in Nashville, Tennessee. So, wow. and you could order one eight by 10 for $10 or two five by sevens for $10, or you could get a $55 package. Let me tell you, it has two eight by 10s, two five by sevens and 40 wallets because you knew back then that you had to figure out which of your best favorite, like 35 friends, you were gonna give this picture to. And they only got one if they give you one of theirs. Remember that? No. Oh yeah. I yeah. It's an amazing transformation, really.
Rear floors are pretty solid. Fronts are completely gone. Someone replaced this one with sheet metal, but I wonder if they ever actually drove it like that or if they stopped part way because that way is, that side is not done at all. And there was a lot of sheet metal still inside the car. It's almost like somebody had plans to fix it and never did. Here's the pile of junk we, we get out of this thing. We made quite a mess. Yeah. Nothing stuff up there. No, we still haven't gotten the trunk open yet. Okay. Now we've cleaned it out. And you can actually sit down comfortably if you wanted, right? Yeah, relatively so. Yeah, I can even get in here now. This is so much nicer. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, I remember those flip flops. Yeah. Oh my goodness. These are made of like slight. Yeah. Maybe we should put those out by the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That person had a really big foot. They never use them, right? Florida something. How much were these crazy things? 20 bucks. <laughs> oh, wow. Yardstick. Not yardstick anymore. Sanders Manufacturing. Lebanon. Lebanon Road. Huh. Every home needs a yardstick. Yeah, I've had one of those bad kids. A lot of gloves in here. Oh, does that go? That's not probably to this car, but it's in really bad shape. Yeah, is that more? We found part it's of a book. Sandpaper. For... Oh, okay. I found a part of a book, it was burnt up for Catcher in the Rye. Industrial flashlight. Are there batteries in there? No. Good. And this is gross, whatever it is. Oh, plant food. Miracle Grow. Think it's still good? No. I really don't. I think the only reason I say that is because I have some at the house and um, I think there's an expiration date on it. Well, we should see what the date is. I'm pretty sure <laughs> it, it um, was not in the last two years. Yeah. Something is bad. Another glove. What's in this bag? Spark plugs. I wonder if those are the ones that were in that box. Oh. Very old spark mm. plugs. ACs. I'm going to say we do need one. I don't I don't think that would look that great. <laughs> None of them look very good. They've been sitting in water. Ooh, that one does. Let's use that one for the one I broke. What? Well, I, don't, I don't think you broke that. I'm going to go back and review the video, but I don't think that was arguing. Well, maybe not. But that's a good find. More of the speaker wire. This is really nice wire. Yeah, I found a roll of it. Oh, you did? Yeah, I put oh, it over great. there on the table. Great. Whoever well, let me just say it was, it was green, so. Yeah. 16 gauge wire. It's good stuff. It's good quality stuff. Change jacket, anybody? Yeah, what's in the pocket? There's stuff in there. Oh, oh I know nice you're. I know you're clam. keeping that. Oh, that's funny stuff. That is really funny. That it was is. a nice hose clamp. Now I gotta check the other pockets. Well, there isn't another pocket. Coke. I got that's a little one. Six ounces. This one is bigger, 10 ounces, return for deposit. So it can't be that old, but it's heavy glass. I mean, yeah. It's like all Coke. Yeah, just be careful. 
Oh, you got a big handful of something. Oh my goodness. In the bottle. You know, it's really hoping we found something great back there. Well, we found a hose clamp. Oh, you almost threw one away. Oh, more. What is that? Some kind of electrical, home electrical thing. Oh. See a can of Lysol back there. Yeah. We might really bunch need more bottles. We just definitely need that Lysol up here. Yeah, a bunch more bottles. Let's see if I can reach it. Watch out for that broken one. What is it? Oh. Spot putty and glaze. Oh wow. Ooh, Lysol. Man, this car could use this. Yeah, it could. What do you think the chances of this working are? I'm hoping good because we could use it right now. And this is very, very old. Okay, here's the test. <laughs> it works. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Yeah. How many times has this can been frozen? That's true. That is, is there a date incredible. on the back? No. And Sometimes it'll say. Somewhere. We'll have to look later when we have more light. Yeah. It's, get, it's getting late in the day, honestly. Okay, Richard. This will be cake. You're getting ready to go in. Yeah. Waiting for the dust to settle a bit and trying to get that glass out of the way. Oh, that's a big piece. Yeah. yeah. Let's do a, another tuck to make sure there's not something you don't see. Do you feel like you're in that whole cave setting again? Oh, I hear a lot of glass, babe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need to, we need to get that out. You're a brave man. A fine line between bravery and stupidity. Okay. See if I can get in there first of all. Oh, you're fitting in there much better than before. Yeah, I'm in. We have a good view of. Do you want the Creole? Wow, those don't want to come out. So when do you think they started making those security latches to where if someone was in a truck, they could push that button and get out? I don't know. I think there's another way for me to do this. No, it's not moving. There's a big piece of glass there, babe. You're making me nervous. I wonder what this thing does. It might have been much back. Nope. I don't have the wrench for this one either. Aww. Oh, that that, that's moves. I wonder if that's maybe the chrome handle. <gasps> oh. That would be good. Yeah. Do you want me to see if anything's moving on the other side? That's the handle. That is the handle. I'm moving it. Did uh huh. Oh, this is exciting. Here it comes out. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. Maybe, hey, hon. Maybe we can stick a screwdriver in there now. Does this need to? Maybe we can stick a Oops. screwdriver in there now. Yeah? Yeah. <sighs> Got it. Let me see that. Yeah. yeah. I'm familiar with this little type of lock. So if you put the screwdriver in there, we'll just open up now? I think what you have to do, because I remember these old Chevys, is push down. Rather than twist, uh -huh. you gotta push down. So exciting. I think. And I know how to do it. Okay. Or need my light here. Boy, it's starting to get dark. Yeah. 
Now, as I remember, you don't twist this, you push, push down. Did you get it? Oh! I was right, you pushed down. All right. Whoa, lucky, lucky. And we did get most of the junk out. Mm-hmm. Wiper blades, some more steel. Whoa, check it out. Hmm. Retro gas pedal. You want to use that, don't you? <laughs> it's so, is it small? Are it supposed to be no. bigger? No. Retro gas pedal. Oh, that might have been the best find. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Oh, funny. I wonder if this is a Cal Custom. It, 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 I think, yeah, it's a Cal Custom. This is pretty cool. Cal Custom made all kinds of stuff like that back in the day. Oh, wow. Yeah. Isn't that sweet? Mm. Look at that. Yeah. I think that's, that's the, the original. original mat right here. Wow. And it's so got this piece of carpet over it. So that mat's probably going to crumble as soon as you pick it yeah, up. Yeah, I think so. I was just wondering how. Uh, oh, that's an armrest. Yep, bottom to the armrest in amazing condition. There really is in good shape. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? You know, um, can you hit it with your fist to see how solid the floor is? The floor, yeah. I think it's going to be good. This isn't so good. Yeah. Man, there's more pairs of gloves in this yeah, car. There's a lot. <clears throat> I mean, we could have used those, but... No way. <laughs> no way. Uh, oh, there's a little light bulb. Yeah. Another plug. Seven, that was not in any better shape. No. There's only one that's usable, but I only need one. Yeah, that's an old time light bulb, eleven fifty-seven. Wow, and you know it still has that um, bat. Was that? Yeah, yeah it still cardboard? has that. Yeah. yeah, isn't that Imagine interesting? That. Imagine that. Yeah, that is very interesting. Yep. And then look up here. What a pretty color! It was a very pretty color, wasn't yep. it? Yep. What's it look like? Not great. Oh, there's some rust. Not great, but I expected worse, honestly. Look at the old Texaco patch. <gasps> oh, wow. That's cool. That is so, so super cool. Yeah, that is really neat. What do you think, right here? Yeah, we just... Clean it up? Yeah, clean it up and... Sew it on? That's pretty cool. That is very cool. I just might do that. No, I thought we were serious. Yeah, we should do that. <laughs> I'm going to yeah, find sure. another one. All right. Well, let's vacuum this out. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, finds of the day. Your Top finds of the day. I would say it's this pile right here. The Texco patch, once it's cleaned up. The Cal Custom gas pedal. These two things, they're just awesome. And this 60s. Ford truck dash cluster. Yeah, and don't forget those $20 flip flops. Oh, yeah, the slate flip flops. <laughs> if anybody wants those, let us know. <laughs> okay, so the trunk is clean, but look what I found. They actually did order an 8x10, but it was in the trunk. Maybe they broke up. They're done for the night, but we'll be back at it tomorrow. So, tomorrow I will be. Continuing this because I need to get all this graffiti off of here. That doesn't need to be on there. It's offensive. And um, Richard, can it work? See if you can get that engine unseized. I'll give it a try. I don't know about tomorrow. We'll see. Maybe we'll take the head off. Yeah. I'm going to start working on cleaning up in the inside of the Chevy a little more than yesterday. And I have to tell you, 
Richard is having lunch with friends and I am alone in the garage or the shop, I should say. And I am so excited. I'm not sure why, but I really like having a low time in the shop. So I don't know if that's weird or normal, but I'm really enjoying it. Even if it's only for a couple hours. There's something so gratifying about cleaning one of these old cars and unless you've done it, it's hard to explain. It just, I feel good to bring some of the past back a little bit more to the car and I always find cleaning and working on the inside was the outside very exciting so hopefully I'm not alone in that that's better you had to guess, how long do you think it's been since the car was cleaned? I'm thinking, if I had to guess, 40 years. What's your guess? Can't wait to clean the outside of the windows. I don't know what it is, but there's something about clean windows that changes everything. It doesn't matter how clean it, you've got it on the inside or how clean you've got it on the outside. Clean windows, boy, they change everything. Let's clean that front window. I think a critter got in here last night. I don't know if you can see those from there, but you can pull the camera out and I'll take you around front. You see them? What is that, a raccoon? I don't think it's a squirrel. Let me see if I can get a better picture for you. I have this on a, a little stand and I'm not used to using it, so there you go. Do you see it? <laughs> Okay. So I'm going to take everything out of the glove box and then I'm going to put some Creole on here and see if that helps. wasn't expecting that to spray out so so quickly and with such force. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to work so quickly. I don't know why. I'm always surprised, but Richard just do. It works so daggone fast. I kid you not. It, I waited like 10 seconds, just long enough to put the phone down. I tried it and it worked. So, oh my goodness. Okay, well, I wonder if the lock works. Hmm. I don't know about you guys, but I think that this car has went long enough with that 
graffiti on it. So let's see what we can do about getting it off. Okay, so I was getting ready to get some sandpaper and it's not here, it's missing. So maybe the raccoon took it. I don't know, but I might have to go buy some sandpaper because we need to get this off today. Anyone watching would like to send me a gift? I'll tell you what I need. The burnt Chevy, Lula, the Jeep, this car, and others that are coming up. Sandpaper. Do you want to send Christina a gift? Send me lots and lots of sandpaper. Okay, so it's the third day I'm working on the Chevy cleanup. I brought plenty of sandpaper for today. And yeah, you can see the head back there. So uh, when I was working the second day, uh, I had to kind of stop, didn't have sandpaper. And we were anxious to get started on the will it run portion and I can tell you if you like hang on the edge of your seat nail biting oh my gosh I've never seen anything like that will it run you need to subscribe right now because this is nothing we've ever seen before probably nothing you've ever seen before and it will be airing one week from today so hit that subscribe button trust me you do not do not want to miss this will run. How are you doing with that orange? It's it's really thick, isn't it? It's a very, very thick. It's probably as thick as the factory paint. Yeah. With runs in it and everything. So I'm gonna see if I can find my wet or dry uh, 800 pads for the DA. We're gonna hit this with the DA and see how it works. While I was in the house making some lunch, Richard got that off. Did a great job. Uh, Sand a little bit more back here. Try to get the rest of that off. And then just left with the hood. And Richard wants to pull it outside and wash it after that. So, head <laughs> off. Oh. When was the last time this car was washed? The 80s? I guessed 40 years, a couple days ago. So I asked everyone, all the viewers, what they would guess. So it'd be interesting to see what you guys guessed.
Hey, young man. Hey, how you doing? Oh, hey, guys. I this is our new neighbor. So the, it's sorry, to, it's sorry to interrupt you in the middle no, of, the, uh, of shooting. No, no, no. All right, so, sorry, guys. We don't want to be bad neighbors, so I'm going to turn the camera off so we no, talk to Kevin. So we just washed it. We've already 400 grit. We're going to, need to do some thousand, but we want to get the dirt off now that we're going to get real fine. And this is how it's looking. Pretty good. It's still a little bit wet, but it looks a lot better than it did. It no looks... more, no more devil, no yeah. more dead man, no more Satan, no more Satan. <laughs> None it, of that. Yeah, it's a thousand times better. And the red is such a pretty red. Mm -hmm. It's metallic burgundy. I don't know why there's some black mixed in, but there is. I like the black, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, it, it, it looks awesome, really. It, it looks does. very, very cool. You did a good job, babe. Oh, you too. Thanks, honey. Okay, now let's put it back in the garage. Yep, back in the garage for the next phase. <laughs> hey, Richard. Yeah. So, are you putting our neighbor, Kevin, to work one hour after yes. meeting him? Well, he volunteered. <laughs> Do, right? <laughs> uh, he's gonna right, push, push right? me Why back in. Oh yeah, my yeah, gosh. I think they got stuck. They got stuck. They're gonna have two hernias in the morning. Mm. Guys, I think maybe we should get the track. Oh. Yeah, why don't we just use the truck? <laughs> Yeah, but I think what we did was I had to stop to turn the wheel. Yeah, which I just did. Alright. Well, timing was bad. Let's give her a few feet. Yeah. Alright. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, bad. Alright. Let's take a rest. Really? And we'll do in the comments for really. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay. Ready? Great. One, two, two, three, three. We got it. Come on, come on. Listen. It's not gonna go. I can already tell you the tires are not gonna go. No, I, I I really don't think you can. I thought you had it. How do you do? Want to go up about three high again? All right. All right. One, two, three. Yeah, it doesn't do it like this. For the love of rust, right? That's what we do. Yeah. Do the one, two, three again. Down, down, Daddy O. Okay, one. Two, three. There we go. That's what she needed. All the way back. How are you over there? I'm good here. Alright. Oh, you're almost there. Can do. Yeah, and a woman, <laughs> and a woman. Yes, that was your idea. Yeah, I told them that it was yeah. never going to work unless they aired up the tires. Yeah. And they aired We've up been the tires. Oh, man, it's <laughs> Glad to be here. It's cool to see what you guys are doing. I've been, I've been, if you guys are watching, I, I've uh, tuned in on a lot of your videos and stuff. To see that you are reviving family heirlooms, you're reviving pieces of history, 
Man, I think it's awesome. I appreciate that. It's commendable. Appreciate it. Love what you do. I love it. And we can do such stuff together. Who knows? Yeah. In the future. Yep. I like that idea. Yeah, absolutely, for sure. All right. Introduce your channel again. Uh, it's, uh, of course, the youtube.com slash deal Kevin Baxter. And you'll see all kind of stuff. Machining, I, there's car videos and engine building, all that type of stuff. So, uh, man, I'm thrilled to have you. Check out his channel. Absolutely. Glad to have you. So there you go. From a Halloween decoration to some level of respectability. Yes, and I know that we didn't say much about the previous owner. So I'm gonna let you know, we talked to the kid from the prom picture earlier today. He filled us in on the missing information and he is going to come wrench with Richard and get Vessel. That was what he called the car when he was a teenager. We're gonna get that this car running and uh, I'm gonna let him fill you in on the history of the car, him and his family. Woo! <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. Richard and I appreciate it. You truly are wonderful. We appreciate you watching, liking, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, Richard. We'll be chatting with you in the comments. Have a great week.